hello my dear students as you know that i have started with the theory class of uh, solutions this is the fourth video which i am going to do regarding the chapter called as solutions so if you have missed any of the videos please go through the links and you can go through the concepts if you have any doubts you can message so in the previous video i had started the discussion with respect to the colligative properties very important concept we had defined colligative properties the property which depends upon the number of solute particles but not on its nature is referred to as colligative properties and also we have seen four types of colligative properties and under that i have discussed the first type of colligative properties called as a relative lowering of vapor pressure right so we'll go one by one so previous before i go for the next type of colligative property uh, just a glance right so we have defined colligative properties so what is colligative properties the properties of the solution which depends only on the number of solute particles but not on the nature of solute particles that is referred to as what colligative properties so as i have said there are four colligative properties which are named as a relative lowering of vapor pressure elevation in boiling point depression in freezing point and osmotic pressure now i have also started with the first type of colligative properties called as a relative lowering of vapor pressure which is given by the symbol p0 minus p divided by p0 where p0 is the vapor pressure of pure solvent p is the vapor pressure of the component right so if you have any doubts regarding or relative lowering of vapor pressure you can go to the previous slides or previous videos now i am going to start with the second type of colligative properties called as elevation in boiling point now dear children please do remember out of these four colligative properties any one colligative properties will be asked with respect to the numerical problems that is question number 28a for three marks will be related to the colligative properties that to numerical part now relative lowering of vapor pressure we have seen the definition and also we have seen the problems related to that so if you have any doubts you can go through the slides previous videos now i am going to start directly with respect to the second type of colligative property called as elevation in boiling point now elevation in boiling point is represented by the symbol delta tb as you know that change delta t refers to change in temperature with respect to boiling point now what is the definition we know that the boiling point can be defined i think you in first year know already study with respect to the definition of boiling point when you are going to do the practicals so boiling point is nothing but a state or a process which helps in conversion of liquid state to gaseous state or the boiling point of a liquid is the temperature at which its vapor pressure becomes equal to atmospheric pressure we know that outside pressure is said to be atmospheric pressure that pressure when it is equal to the temperature which is present in the solute or solvent that vapor pressure is said to be as its boiling point so simple definition students the boiling point of a liquid is the temperature at which its vapor pressure becomes equal to that of atmospheric pressure so that is said to be as what boiling point now the vapor pressure of the solution containing non volatile solute the vapor pressure of a solution if a, in a solution in which there is presence of a non volatile now you know what is meant by non volatile which does not gets evaporated if i am going to add such solute the vapor pressure of the solution is lesser than that of pure solvent now dear students it is a simple concept don't confuse here i am going to take a beaker a which is a pure solvent and i am going to take a beaker b which is a solution in beaker b solution i am going to add a non volatile solute now the vapor pressure of this beaker b is always lesser than that of pure solvent now you may ask why because in pure solvent there is no component which is stopping them to or there is no component which is stopping the solvent particles right but in case of solution the solvent also consists of solutes where the vapor pressure of the solution will be always lesser than that of your pure solvent i repeat once again in beaker a i have taken pure solvent in beaker b i have taken solution 
that means there is presence of a non volatile solute with solvent now the vapor pressure of the solution will be always lesser than that of pure solvent now therefore the solution has to be heated to the higher temperature so that its vapor pressure becomes equal to atmospheric pressure that means in the beaker b which is containing solution that should be heated to higher temperature so that its vapor pressure becomes to equal to atmospheric pressures that is what we call it as what boiling point thus the boiling point of the solution is always higher than that of the pure solution solvent right so i am going to explain this with the graphical representation then it will be clear for you now the difference in the boiling point of the solution it is represented as tb and pure solvent that is t not b is called as what elevation in boiling point so elevation in boiling point is represented by delta tb what is delta tb delta tb is the difference between the tb minus t not b so i'll before i'll explain this concept further with respect to the problem also now for time being remember elevation in boiling point that's what we are saying as delta tb what is delta tb it is the difference in the boiling point of solution that is the temperature of the solution minus the temperature of the pure solvent so the depth is that difference is called as what elevation in boiling point now you can see here there is a graphical representation that is with respect to the vapor pressure versus temperature now this is the atmospheric pressure we say it as atmospheric pressure usually is represented as one atmospheric pressure right so this is one atmospheric pressure now when the vapor pressure of the solution becomes equal to atmospheric pressure then it is said to be as boiling point now i have taken two components here one is pure solvent and second one is the solution now remember children in solution what we have got a solvent plus non volatile solute but in solvent there is only the solvent particles so vapor pressure of this will be always higher when compared to that of the vapor pressure of the solution why because in solution we have two components one is solute and one is solvent so hence the vapor pressure will be lesser in solution when compared to that of solvent so you can see this is the graphical representation towards y axis vapor pressure towards the x axis there is temperature so as there is increase in vapor increase in temperature the vapor pressure of the solvent goes on increasing so when compared to that of the solution so ab is the graphical representation for solvent and cd is the graphical representation for the solution now say for example here i have pointed x as a boiling point of solvent and y as a boiling point of a solution if i take a temperature line graph so for solvent the temperature is represented as t not b and for that of solution is represented as tb so this difference in the temperature between the solvent and solution is called as what delta tb that is elevation in boiling point hope i think you understood the concept with the graphical representation i repeat once again i have taken a, a graph representation of vapor pressure versus temperature where vapor pressure is towards the y axis and temperature is towards the x axis so this is the atmospheric pressure one atmospheric pressure now we define the boiling point as what the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the components is equal to that of atmospheric pressure i have taken two components one is solvent another one is solution now in solution you know that there is presence of solvent plus non volatile solute now since there is presence of non volatile solute so the vapor pressure of the solution goes on decreasing when compared to that of your pure solvent so ab is the vapor pressure of the solvent cd is the vapor pressure of solution when i take the temperature of solvent and solution the difference in the temperature is referred to as what boiling elevation in boiling point which is represented by delta tb right so i think you understood this graphical representation was also asked in some of the board examination draw the graphical representation for elevation in boiling point so hence you should uh, remember this graphical representation students now the vapor pressure of the pure solvent or solution increases with increase in temperature the vapor pressure of pure either it is solvent or solution if i am going to raise the uh, heat the, the solvent or solution the vapor pressure always increases right so the curve ab gives the vapor pressure for the pure solvent so in the previous slide you can see the curve ab indicates the vapor pressure of pure solvent and curve cd indicates the pressure of solution now the uh, pure solvent and the curve cd gives the vapor pressure of the solution 
Now the curve CD represents the vapor pressure of solution at a different temperature that lies below the curve AB which corresponds to vapor pressure of pure solvent. So this is because of the fact that vapor pressure of the solution is lesser than that of pure solvent at all temperature. So I already explained this concept dear students. So in case of solution there is presence of non volatile solute. So vapor pressure of the solution is lesser when compared to that of your vapor pressure of the solvent. So that is what it is explained in the uh, presentation here. So the vapor pressure of the sol solution is always lesser than that of your so, uh, solvent, pure solvent. Now, the vapor pressure of the pure solvent becomes equal to that of atmospheric pressure at X. So, at X, you, can, you might have seen here. So, at the X point, the vapor pressure of solvent becomes equal to atmospheric pressure, and X, at point Y, the vapor pressure bec uh, becomes equal to atmospheric pressure at, of solution at point Y. Now, vapor pressure at Y. Thus, the boiling point of uh, pure solvent is represented by delta naught, delta naught B, while that of solution is represented by Tb. So, since Tb is always greater than that of T naught B, the elevation in, uh, there is an elevation or increase in boiling point temperature of the solution as compared to that of solvent. That is, delta Tb is always equal to Tb minus T naught B. Why? Because Tb is always greater than T naught B. So I think I will be expressing the terms here. So mathematically, elevation in boiling point that is delta Tb may be expressed as so delta Tb is equal to Tb minus T naught B. So here Tb always that of your uh, solution is greater than that of your solvent. So hence Tb minus T naught B. So this difference we call it as what elevation in boiling point. So the elevation in boiling point that is delta Tb of a solution is a proportional to the molar concentration of the solution. So delta Tb is the proportional. So here we have the term delta Tb is directly proportional to molarity of the solution or molar concentration. So therefore, if I remove this proportionality constant, so the above expression del Tb becomes what? Delta Tb is equal to Kb into M, where Kb is the proportionality constant. So where M is the molarity of the solution and it represents the moles of solute present in 1 kg of solvent and Kb is called as molal elevation boiling point constant or molal boiling point constant or ebulloscopy constant. Now my dear students, I just repeat here once again because this is an important presentation. Now elevation in boiling point can be expressed by using the formula delta Tb is equal to Tb minus T naught B where Tb is the temperature for your solution and temperature T0 B is the temperature for your solvent. So this difference represents your elevation in boiling point. Now, elevation in boiling point is directly proportional to molarity of the solution. So if I want to remove this proportion to constant to be represented by delta Tb is equal to Kb into M, where Kb is referred to as what? Molal boiling point elevation constant or molal boiling point constant or ebulloscopic constant. So this is an important formula students that is delta Tb is equal to Kb into M. So they may ask with respect to the numerical problems, they may give the elevation change in temperature, elevation in boiling point, they may give molarity of constant or they may give epiloscopic constant. Any two of the quantities will be given, the third quantity will be asked to solve. So delta Tb is the elevation in boiling point, Kb is called as molar boiling point elevation constant or molar boiling point constant or looks the constant and m is representing molality of the solution right now if molality of solution is equal to 1 then according to the formula so what will happen what is the formula delta tb is equal to kb into m but what is the molarity of solution given that is 1 so if i substitute then formula becomes delta tb is equal to kb thus molar boiling point elevation constant or epiloscopic constant kb is defined as what the elevation in boiling point for one molar solution that is a solution containing one gram mole of solute dissolved in 1000 grams of solvent or one kg of the solvent. Now, elevation in boiling point is a colligative properties. Now, you should say why it is a colligative property. So, here in elevation in boiling point is directly proportional to molar concentration of the solute that is number of molecules and therefore it is a colligative property. So, I defined already the colligative property. What is colligative property? It is a property which depends upon number of solute particles, not on the nature. So here you can see 
the elevation in boiling point is directly proportional to the molar concentration of the solute so hence therefore it is a qualitative property now we go for the important concept as i told there is a three marks question regarding the numericals of uh, elevation in boiling point so under that the type of columns will be related to determination of molar mass of solute from using elevation in boiling point temperature now the elevation in boiling point that is delta tv is useful for determining the molar mass we represent molar mass either as m2 or mb with respect to solute here let w b or w2 gram of non volatile solute is dissolved in w a or w1 grams of the solvent and m b or m2 is the molar mass of the solute therefore the molality of the solution is we know molarity is equal to number of moles of solute into 100 divided by weight of solvent in grams right so where moles of solute is we go we know that yeah, number of moles of solute is nothing but w2 divided by m2 that is weight of solute divided by molecular mass of solute now m is equal to wb into 1000 divided by mb into wa now remember students what is wb weight of solute mb molecular mass of solute wa that is weight of solvent in some of the test tube uh, uh, test book they have given either the simple representation as wb or w2 that represents weight of solute in some of the books they may give wa or w1 that indicates weight of solvent m1 or m a indicates molar mass of solvent m b or m2 molecular mass of solute so by using simplification of this we get we know the formula that is delta tb is equal to kb into m now what is molarity we have to substitute here formula we have calculated uh, m here m is nothing but wb into 1000 divided by mb into wa so substitute this formula here so we know that delta tb is equal to kb m is nothing but wb into 1000 divided by mb into wa thus molar mass of solute we require this quantity so hence the expression becomes what mb is equal to kb this will be same kb into wb into 1000 divided by this mb goes this side so delta tb comes to the denominator that is delta tb into wa so what is mb molar mass of solute is equal to aboloscopic constant or molar elevation constant into weight of solute into 1000 divided by elevation in boiling point constant into weight of solvent so this is with respect to the formula so there are two important formulas either the columns may be related to delta tv is equal to kb into m or they may ask with respect to molecular mass of the solute now as i have said there is a three marks question with respect to the uh, problems related to qualitative properties so we go for the problems so before going to problems in relative lowering of flow pressure also we have seen some of the problems now we go for the second type of qualitative property that is elevation in boiling point that we are going to see with respect to the problems related to that